can I see? Hello everyone, that is joining and anyone that is watching later on. I'm just trying to see if I can see where the comments are. Let's have a look. There it is. Right, okay, I can see everything. So I'm just having a cup of tea in my greenhouse. Um, I'm just going to start to sow some seeds in a minute. So I thought I'm just going to jump on and see if anyone is around and if anyone fancies a cup of tea and a chat with me. So I've just found some. I've just been cleaning out my greenhouse. I've just had a really big tidy up and I've just found some seeds that I didn't know I had. So there's me being all organised last week, getting all my seeds organised, thinking, yeah, I've got everything. I know what I'm doing. I know what I've got. And then I just found loads more. So I'm going to have a look at what I've just found and see if I am going to end up sowing these. So I've got all my seeds here that I organised last week. And then I just found a whole load more. So I actually found another box as well. So this is another one of those boxes that I got online probably to get a certain variety of something. But I don't know what one it was. But there's a whole load in here as well. So I'm going to go through them. But I can see there is a few people watching. So come and say hello on the chat and I'll see. Can everyone hear me? Let's have a look and see if I can see anyone saying hello. Can anyone type something if they're watching? Can anyone type anything? So that I can see if I can see any comments. Let me see. Ah, here we go. Jamie's allotment garden. I can see you. Hello, Jamie. How are you this afternoon? Is it raining with you or is it sunny? It's really overcast here. It has actually been really horrible weather today. So I'm just going through my seeds. Hi, Eddie and Emily. Hi, Mum. My mum's watching. Hi, Mum. So I'm just in my greenhouse. And like I say, I thought I'd just see if anyone was around to sit and sow some seeds with me and have a nice cup of tea. So how is everyone today? today so i've got some dill which i did want to sow and i thought i didn't have any so i'm glad i found that in my greenhouse so i'm really glad i've got that yeah it's overcast here as well so we're south london and it is overcast it's horrible it was just drizzling earlier but i'm making the most of it i'm going to stay in the greenhouse i've got some cavalier nero so i'm really pleased i've got that i'm definitely going to sow that one i wasn't going to do any cabbage but i've just found some cabbage so that might go on my maybe pile i'm going to do some oregano i've j actually i'll just show you where did i put it when i was tidying up i found this tiny tiny little oregano plant that i must have started last year but it's still going do you think that'll be okay do you think i'll be able to keep that and it'll grow on this year i'm going to water it and keep it in there but i found that underneath loads of other stuff so i must have missed it but it looks okay doesn't it oh it's sunny in east yorkshire oh lucky you it is horrible here it's not cold actually i've got like i've just got a jump on i haven't got a coat on or anything but it's not very nice i've got some pak choy i'll do that and i've got some basil some more kale I've got some spring onions, but I don't ever do onions because I don't know if any of you know this, but Vince is allergic to onions. I do talk about it a lot and I do tell everyone. So apologies if you've heard that already. But yeah, I don't hardly do any onions because Vince can't eat them. So I probably won't do those ones. Some broccoli. Maybe I'll do that. I'm definitely going to do some lettuce. What else have I got? Cabbage. And I, actually, I'm really pleased I found some more peas because I thought I only had a few peas from my saved seed last year. But I'll show you. I sowed them last week. And look, they're all starting to come up. So they were my saved seed from last year. And if you watch my video, it's hilarious. I got out this, um, this packet, my saved seed, and there was about six seeds in there. I thought I had a lot more. Well, there was more than six, but you know what I mean? I thought I had loads. But I'm pleased they're coming up anyway. So 
so I'm going to be sewing those ones as well. Hi, dog on the plot. Hi, Kerry. How are you today? What's the weather like with you? We're all talking about the weather because we're all obsessed with the weather at the moment, obviously, aren't we? Oh, my goodness. I'm obsessed with the weather. That's all I talk about and all I think about is the weather. I was going to go to the plot today, actually, but it was just i just didn't feel like it i just thought you know what it's not very nice and i needed to get the greenhouse done i needed to get it cleared out and i thought do you know what i can't put it off anymore i need to oh you're having your lunch break with me that's so nice what are you having for your lunch um i've had my lunch i had some a leftover some leftover roast dinner i had chicken red cabbage and swede with some gravy so it was actually really nice it was nice on a day like this to have something warm but um, yeah, I decided not to go uh, to the plot today because I thought, you know what, it's not the weather's really bad anyway. Um, it's and I thought I need I can't be off cleaning out this greenhouse anymore. I just can't do it. Full spring. You've had snow. Whereabouts are you? You've had snow the last three days. Good morning from Oregon. Hi Jojo. Nice to see you so it's just a difference isn't it so getting snow it's really overcast here it's horrible but we're looking I, I think it's dry because at the moment our garden i don't know if everyone else's is the same it's like a swamp so it's nice not to have any more water coming down because i don't think the garden could take any more we haven't had snow this season at all we haven't had any snow here in the uk i don't know if we've had any further up has anyone further up the country had any snow i don't think i remember any snow um we definitely haven't had any we've had a really mild winter but it's been wet hasn't been very nice has it it's been horrible so is everyone ahead on their sowing their seeds um this year i feel like i'm a little bit behind i haven't sown as much as i normally would have because i'm trying to not have loads on the go too early so I'm just wondering, is everyone else ahead or are you like me and sort of waiting? So I'm, I've, I have got quite a bit sewn actually. Let me see if I can show you. I'll show you around what I've got. So I've got my overwintered chilies. These are my blueberries I need to plant. So I've got my two lots of peas. I've got some shallots. So I'm not trying to kill Vince. I know I've just said that, <laughs> that he's allergic to onions. I'm just doing them because I've never grown them before. So I thought it was... <laughs> be a nice try i'm not trying to kill him i promise um these are all my chilies i did chilies and peppers sorry chilies and sweet peppers so they're looking good i've actually got one coriander that has come through the winter so that's exciting and i've got what else have i got oh i've got six um parsleys this is my cosmos so that is actually starting to come up and my daily as i'm waking up that's all i've actually got at the moment that i've sort of started so Jojo's waiting to sow most crops until April. Oh, ratatouille. I love ratatouille. Love ratatouille. Um, not in Yorkshire. Haven't had any snow in Yorkshire either. It's been a really weird, weird, weird um, winter. I feel like it's been very strange. Very, very strange winter. But who's looking forward to the growing season? I'm so looking forward. Oh, I've just got loads of seeds on the bench here where I've been tidying up. I wonder what these are. Look, <laughs> I've just looked down and there's loads of seeds on there. Should I sow them and see what comes up? I might just put them in one of these little pots. Where's my compost? It's up here. I'm just going to sow them and see what they are and i'll let you know what comes out of it if i can tell sometimes you can tell can't you they actually look a bit like cabbage i think and there's me saying i'm not going to sow any cabbage and then i'm just sowing some mystery brassicas I'll leave them at the end there i'll forget what they are and they'll come up and i'll be thinking kerry's sowing tomatoes after work today oh i have sowed my um tomatoes they are currently on my bathroom windowsill they um i put them in the airing cupboard does anyone else do that because they weren't germinating it i think that i don't know what i did them probably mid last week and nothing was happening with them i thought what am i going to do i haven't got any heat heat um, mats or anything like that so i thought do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to put them in the airing cupboard so i put them in the airing cupboard on what day is it today is it tuesday it must have been like sunday night left them 
been there yesterday and this morning they've all come up so i've put them all on my windowsill now so they've all up and out and i'm excited about that so my tomatoes are done but it's just all the other bits that i haven't actually started how many varieties of um tomato are you sowing kerry oh, there's nothing like a cup of tea is there feels so nice in this greenhouse now i've actually tidied it up as well you couldn't actually get in here you couldn't get in here it was so messy in here the floor was like <laughs> dumping ground you know you just come in from like the plot or whatever and you just dump everything but um i'm just looking around now and it's like it's looking really nice 18 18 varieties i think i've done i think i did like maybe tw i think i did like maybe 10 or 12 i'll have to have a look and let you know 18 that's not as much as there was someone on danny's live danny from grow up um who was it i don't know if anyone else was watching but they were doing hi jason no you haven't missed anything we're just having a cup of tea in the greenhouse um someone was growing like something like 80 varieties or something i can't remember if anyone else saw that who it was but they were growing like a literally like 80 varieties or something like that i don't think i could do that many but i do love my tomatoes i'm just doing um a lot of ones for making sauce and i'm doing three or four cherry tomatoes as well and i think i'm only doing one or two like beef ones so I'm really excited i've got a little carried away buying seed this year i have done that and that's why this year I actually haven't bought anything. Oh, no, I have. I bought some nasturtiums. I tell a lie. I bought some nasturtiums. But apart from that, everything has been saved or what I've already got. Having a go, another go at tom tomatillos this year too, variety, three varieties of these. I have seen them, but I've never done them. So what actually are they? I've heard of them. Are they like on a bush or something like that? Are they, I'm sure, was it Charles Dowding that I saw did them? I'm sure it was something like that. I can't remember. I've heard of them and I've seen them, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I said six varieties of tomato this year and already daydreaming for what I will do in 2025. Oh my God, I know. That's what we're like, isn't it? The tomatoes get us every single time. It's the tomatoes that get us. They're too exciting, aren't they? But I've got a few little bits here. These are ones that came, I was saying at the beginning, for anyone that missed, I found all these in my greenhouse. So another one of these. So I, I know I got these from Amazon and I think it's when I'm looking for a variety of something and sometimes I can't find them. It's usually when it's like later on in the year and I think, oh, I'll have to try and find some of them. I don't know if it was for, it must have been something that isn't in the pack now because these all look like normal sort of things but i've got some carrots uh autumn king autumn king carrots some more tomatoes saint pierre black cherry cucumber hocus cucumber onions i won't say again that um vince is allergic to onions oh jason's got a question for me and kerry And we've got someone from Pakistan. Hello, I am from Pakistan. I'm chucking some sativas out this year. Hopefully the haze does well. Kerry, tomatillos. A Mexican tomato like Cape Gooseberry in a husk. Yeah, I have seen them or had them, but no. Oh my, that's so exciting. I don't think there's anything. That, what am I doing this year that I haven't done before? There must be something. I can't think. Oh, shallots. That's not as exciting as that, though, is it? Courgettes. How many courgettes does everyone grow? Let's be honest now. How many courgettes does everyone grow? So last year I had five courgette plants, and they were all different. I think there was like maybe three different varieties in there. And then I think I did a couple of marrows as well. But I'm not going to do that many this year because you can get too many courgettes, as we all know. Um, beetroot. I'm not going to do any beetroot this year because I don't ever really eat it. And it never really does well for me, so I'm not going to do that. Radish. I might actually do some radish. 
they're quite easy and they come up quite quickly and I've got some peppers and some sweet peppers and cyan pepper, cayenne pepper, cyan pepper oh hello from Africa Kezia, hello from hello over there in Africa, Jason. My garlic have died. Is it too late to replace some more? Do you know what? I don't know, Kerry. What do you think? Um, is it too? Because you need the cold, don't you? You need a bit of a cold. Um, I would say it might be too late, but I'm not hundred percent. Does anyone else know? Um, only like two of my courgettes survived last year, and I still have. Like, I know, I know. Same same i'm not going to do that this year but i have got a lot of cord i am going to sew courgettes because obviously i do like them and there's a recipe it's a gordon ramsay recipe hello sayana um so it's a gordon ramsay recipe and it is um halloumi carrot and courgette what else is in it i think it's onion but again can't use onion because vince is allergic to onion so um you grate it all together with some breadcrumbs and some egg and you fry it, you know, like a like a patty, sort of like a burger sort of thing. It is absolutely delicious. So I use a lot of my um I, I use a lot of my courgettes for that. Yeah, they do need the cold. Oh, there are yeah, i I think I've seen some in the garden centre. Yeah, I, I'm with Kerry. If you've got the clothes, just sew them. You've got nothing to lose. I wonder if you could do anything if you sew them that late. Is there a trick or anything to make them? I'm not sure. I'm not 100%, but um, I would try it. What have you got to lose? And we might get a frost. I don't know. Our last frost rate is something like... I was looking at it yesterday actually I think it's like the 10th of May or something like that but we haven't had a really cold winter so I don't know if we're actually gonna get another cold like frost or anything I've heard of people refrigerating yeah that's what I was thinking is there a trick or something oh that's nice Kezia thank you so much Archie hi Gem I've been start I've been watching your channel from the start it's great thank you so much that's so nice of you. I'm glad you enjoy watching me and what I get up to. <laughs> it's not usually what I'm supposed to be doing. It's usually a lot of mistakes along the way. But I'm glad you like... Um... I'm glad you like watching. Oh, someone's... Sorry, I just had to delete a message there. I think there was a bit of a rude message on there. Um, Cece's Texas Garden. Good morning. Hello. How are you? How's the weather over there in Texas? We were just talking about the weather and it is overcast here and a few people have got snow where they are as well. I'm just enjoying a nice cup of tea and then I'm going to get sewing. Lots and lots to sew today and hopefully get on top of everything. It's 40 here. I don't know, is that 40? Yeah, that must be quite cold. I don't know what that would be. I'm not very good with the different temperatures, but it sounds cold. Um, it's not too cold here, actually. But um, I've got a few flies in here as well. You know when you start getting all your soil out and everything, and you get like fungus snaps? Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought that sounded cold. I'm not sure what the temperature is here. Actually, I can tell you the temperature because I found... <laughs> greenhouse I actually found this <laughs> I found this so I don't know what that is it's probably maybe 16 or something I don't know if you can see that so 40s like here so you're going to be around here somewhere which what's that oh god it's nearly zero so yeah that is really cold I'm not very good with different temperatures. Uh, the weather's good in Bremen. What's the temperature over there? So what is everyone sowing this week anyway? What are you all doing in your gardens this week? My plan is to sow a little bit more. And I think I might sow some parsnips down at the plot. Um, this week 
not sure when to put my potatoes in. I was talking about this yesterday because a lot of people do it St. Patrick's Day, don't they? Which was yesterday. I think it was yesterday or the day before. I can't remember now. But it was, a, you know, a couple of days ago. In the last couple of days. When does everyone do their potatoes? When do they get them in? And how do you do them? Do you do them in the ground or in raised beds or in buckets? I, Kerry, I still need to inoculate my hazel branch with lion's mane mushroom plugs. That sounds really exciting. And I'm talking about doing like radish and things like that. <laughs> that sounds really exciting. TJ, parsnips, carrots, radish, beets. That sounds good. I'm going to be doing a lot of those things. The only thing I'm not going to do is the beetroot. Cucumbers. CC's Texas Garden. I'll be planting cucumbers. I already did my potatoes harvest in June. Oh, wow, cool. That sounds good. So you do yours a bit earlier then. I think it is around this time, but I don't want to... The thing is, it's about the frost, isn't it? We're not sure about the frost, but we've had such a mild winter and going into spring. What is radish? Looks like this. Like a salad dish. On to dessert, Cornetto. No, I don't speak German. Oh, Cornettos. I love, are you actually having a Cornetto? Oh my goodness, love it. Of course you're having a Cornetto. That is hilarious. Um, it's freezing and you're having an ice cream. I'm enjoying my cup of tea actually. I do need to start selling these seeds soon though. It's been nice to catch up with you all. What are all your plans for the rest of the day? I've got some really nice daffodils actually out in my garden. So it's not quite as dull as it seems. Jason, I'm repotting my aces on Friday and going ahead with planting some garlic this afternoon. Good idea, go for it. Hi Sue, love watching your journey. Hi Sue, thank you so much. Ah, mixed onions. There was a frost April and May last year. Killed all my tomatoes and peppers. Never say never. Yeah, that's the thing. You never know, do you? Lots of putting up to do. Nicola. Hi, Gemma. Watching from my sick bed. Oh, Nicola, hope you're okay. Get well soon. Kezia, I like strawberries. Yeah, me too. I've got quite a lot of strawberries at the plot, actually. I've got some jumbo ones, which I bought... The end i don't know when i bought them actually they i didn't have them last year so i must have bought them at the end of last year maybe but i'm excited to see what they do i think i might do my next lot of peas i'm definitely going to be doing some peas today i'm going to put them in here i've got this big metal like planter so i'm going to start some peas in there i'm so glad i found another packet of peas because um i thought i was going to have to buy some where are they where did i put them these peas, I don't know which ones they are actually. What would I do with them? Peas here. Ambrosia. Hi Ian, brand new to growing. I'm really excited about the spring. I planted lots of beans and peas outside. Now I think far too early they're going to die. Sometimes they don't. You never actually know. Um, just try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it does, then you're on to a winner. Are you direct sowing peas now, Gemma? No, I'm doing them inside. I'm planting them in my planters. But I will do some outside as well when it's a bit warmer. Damage my back in mega pain, but we'll heal. Oh, no, Nicola, your back. That's. I hope you're okay. It's now too late to replant and never refrigerate garlic right okay so hi Lacey I have got a lot of house plants yes I've got a lot of house plants um I've just actually reduced them a bit because I had I had a bit too many but I've got um I've got monstera I've got some philodendrons I've got some hoya 
I've got, what else have I got? I've got things like spider plants and asparagus plants and things like that. So I've got a lot of the um, common ones as well as um, some other ones which I'm trying to grow. I've got things like, um, I've got like yuccas and stuff like that. I do love my plants. I like the um, the climbing ones or the ones that you can like, you know, trail. So I've got a lot of those as well. Things like pothos and stuff like that. Gorilla gardening. What is gorilla gardening? I don't know what that is. What's gorilla gardening? Homegrown lemon. I haven't got any citrus at all. That's something I might actually add this year because I've got like apples and what else have I got? And you know, like soft fruits and things, but I haven't got any citrus. So I haven't got like lemons, limes or anything like that. So that might be something that I'll add to my collection this year. Oh my goodness, Nicola, it sounds like that's really hard for you. Poor you. Hope you feel better soon. Lots of rest. Ah, gorilla gardening is where you go out and plant in public spaces without permission. Oh, I have heard of that. You basically throw the seeds down, no digging fertiliser. Oh. Do your kids like growing indoor plants or growing in the garden? They quite like, they like playing in the garden. They don't really do anything else in the garden, but they do come to the plot. Last year, I did a little vegetable bed for them and they did like potatoes and lots of things like that in there and they really enjoyed it. I do my gorilla gardening at home. Okay, I see. So it's more like just free, like just sowing everywhere and anywhere. That sounds really fun. Anyway, guys, I am now... No option, Gemma. I just want to be in God. Do oh, I know it's horrible when you can't get well soon. Honestly, wishing you lots of luck and a healthy, fast recovery. I am going to end my tea break now because I need to get sewing. But it's been so nice talking to you all. Um, have a lovely day, and I'll speak to you again soon. Now I need to know how to stop it. I'm try. I'm going to stop the live <laughs> if I work out how to do it. Bye, everyone.